This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in from a user asking, is there a way to use polygroups to generate ZRemesher guides? So to start off, I just have the demo dog loaded in, and I've gone through and used the slice curve brush to slice up the model to generate some polygroups. Now with these polygroups generated, I want to come through and use the edges of these polygroups as guides for ZRemesher. So to do this, first I need to navigate over to the geometry panel over here, and then I'm just going to open up the ZRemesher tab. Now, underneath the ZRemesher area over here, there's an option called Keep Groups. Now, if you activate this option, ZBrush is going to look at the borders of your polygroups on your model and use those as guides for ZRemesher. So if I zoom in on my model, like so, and now simply click the ZRemesher button with that Keep Groups option on, ZBrush is going to create new topology, and you'll notice that those edges that were breaking up those polygroups have stayed in the same place. So if I undo this here and just kind of hover over this area here, here is one edge between these two polygroups, and then if I redo, you can see that that edge is in the exact same location as it was before it was processed with ZRemesher. Now another thing to note is that these border edges of these polygroups are very clean at the moment. So they're all perfectly straight cuts through the model. And this is because I use the slice curve brush. So let's say we have an area of our model that has a different polygroup. So let me just mask this area out here. And I'm going to hit Control W to apply a new polygroup to that area. So say I have this kind of feature on my model. So polygrouping on the mesh that is uneven or not clean. So this has a rough border around it. Now, if I have the Keep Groups option on and now click the ZRemesher, you're going to notice that the polygrouping in that area has now been smoothed out around those edges. Now, the smoothing is happening because the slider next to this Keep Groups button is set to 1. So this Smooth Groups Border Slider is going to apply smoothing to your polygroup borders on your mesh for the ZRemesher process. Now this function exists to allow you to use polygroups on DynaMesh models as ZRemesher guides. So most of the time, if you have polygroups on a DynaMesh model, you're going to end up with these rough borders unless you've gone through and used the slice brush to cut clean slices through it. So if I turn the Smooth Groups border option down to zero, and now click the Zero Mesher button, you're going to notice that the polygrouped area over here has not had the smoothing process applied, and it just now has new topology created. So this border here is the same as it was originally before we applied the Zero Mesh option. So if you want to have them hold perfectly, just make sure you disable the Smooth Groups option. But then if you are using the polygroups as guides on DynaMesh models, it's recommended you turn this to 1. And that's going to give you a better result out of your ZRemesh model. Now, another thing you can do to use the polygroups as guides is to come up to the stroke palette up here, open up the curve function modifier here, and turn off border and creased edges, and just leave polygroups on, and then simply click frame mesh. Now when you click Frame Mesh with the Polygroups option on, you're going to get a curve generated at the borders of all those polygroups. Now with this curve generated, I can now use this curve as a guide. So I'm going to come over here and turn off Keep Groups, and then I'm going to change my curve strength to 100. Now with the curve strength set to 100, ZRemesher is now going to look at these curves, and it's going to hold the positions of these curves exactly on the model. So if I come over here and click ZRemesher now, you're going to notice that those areas of breakup are now clean as well from polygroups we had on our original model. So those are two ways you can use polygrouping as guides for ZRemesher. So the first one, just simply turning on the Keeps Groups option. And then the second process is using the Stroke Frame Mesh option to frame the polygroups giving curves to all the borders, and then change the curve strength over here to use as ZRemesher guides. 
So I hope that helps. If you have any additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.